Today at Sawyer International Airport, the U.S. Army Redstone Test Center put an AW609 to the ice test. An Army Chinook created artificial ice conditions for the aircraft to become FAA certified in icy conditions. TV6's Mallory Anderson takes you inside the hangar for a look at what goes on into the certification process. Before an aircraft can fly in natural ice conditions, it must first be tested. This winter, the U.S. Army Redstone Test Center has been working out of Sawyer International Airport, helping several aircraft become FAA certified by conducting artificial ice testing. We use the helicopter. It's outfitted with a large water tank and a spray boom. It, it can actually spray water, and this allows test aircraft to fly up into this cloud uh, to test their systems out in an artificial environment before they actually do icing testing in natural conditions in clouds. This tank in the Chinook behind me, this is filled with water. The water then is pumped through these tubes and out the nozzle, which creates the cloud. After thorough preparations this afternoon, an AW609 commercial tilt rotor was ready to be tested behind the Chinook and prove their systems aboard work correctly. It's a risk reduction method. We can fly in the cloud that they create, and if we don't like what we see, we can get out of it right away. So it's an extremely safe way of doing icing testing. Another Army aircraft is close by the Chinook sampling the cloud and offering assistance, while the tilt rotor being tested is also equipped with several engineers. So we can make changes on the fly if we have to, and we can make longer term changes here with the engineers. The Army conducts tests in Upper Michigan from about December to May and say thanks to the UP's climate and facilities at Sawyer, they'll be back next year. This is one of two places that we come. We've been here, I think, the last three years and uh, we'll probably sustain our partnership with Marquette for the foreseeable future. Mallory Anderson, TV6 News, KI Sawyer.